Today we're going to be working on a Chrysler Aspen four-wheel drive front hub assembly. Now this also works on second gen Durangos and third gen Ram 1500s. So we live in New York State, right in the middle of the Rust Belt. So the very first problem we have is just getting the lug nuts off of this thing. The issue is they tend to swell up so the sockets don't fit on there anymore. So we have to take a three quarter, or no, sorry, seven eighths socket and we have to hit them on there with Thor's hammer, three pound sledge. It ends up biting into it just to take that cover off because these are just caps. This is what your actual lug nut is under there. And we're just blasting through that cap to get that off. So that's the first issue. Once you get the lug nuts off, we can go to the next step. The next step is to take the caliper off. You can do it two different ways. We go right for the big two right here. This is a 21 millimeter, 21 millimeter, and the whole caliper with the bracket comes off as one piece. You could also take off this 13 and this 13 first and just get the caliper out of the way, then take the 21s off for the bracket. And these are gonna be tight, so you're gonna have to use some motivation on it. Tie this up out of the way so we're not pulling on any of the brake lines. Now that the brake caliper is out of the way, we just need to get that hub off, which is going to involve some pounding with Thor's hammer. I loosened it for you. Next is the axle nut. That is 36 millimeters. We were lucky on this one, and the axle is not seized in there. Sometimes they are seized, so just put that nut on. So you have something to hit against before you hit it with a hammer to break that loose. Next are the three bolts holding on the hub. They are 18 millimeter. One there, one there, and one is back here somewhere that we can't see it. There it is. So we might have to turn the hub back and forth so you can get a better shot at it. You're gonna need to motivate these two. The bolts are out. Now we have to get this off, which is a matter of hitting the back side of it with your three pound sledge. Half 
after a substantial amount of hitting it with a hammer, we got it loose here. So we're gonna take this time to disconnect all the wiring all back through there so we don't break that plug. up on this little red slider here push in underneath of it that's right then remove the entire hub assembly this is a splash guard keep things off your rotor they rust really bad if you drive anywhere with salt. So it's always a good idea to have some new ones on hand for when you're replacing these, because you can do it all at the same time. The only re way to replace them later is take that hub right back off. And that's not fun, so. Unfortunately, we don't have a replacement, so it's going right back on. We have these yeah. bolts through here. So that's gonna hold that shield. Now we're gonna put the hub on there. It's easier to run your wire first. Get right out of your way. So now we've got a couple of those bolts threaded. We're just going to go to the back side and alternate around so we pull this in nice and straight. So tighten one bolt, go to the next one, tighten that a little bit, tighten the next one, just keep rotating until they're all tight. So now the bolts are all tight, now we just gotta route this wire. That goes around the back. One clip there. There. And then one on this brake line here. And then it goes around. Up to the plug. And that clips into that hole back there. It's in. Now we gotta put the caliber back on. So once you put your rotor back on, give that a little turn. Ooh, hear that scraping noise? That's our shield. So something on our shield is bent and it's touching that rotor. There's a little spot right there. Go ahead and straighten that up. Just take that back. Ah, no more scraping. Just something to check before you put it all together and then try to move. It makes a terrible racket. All right, let's get back to that caliper. For this part, you're gonna wanna have a friend Hold the bottom of this rotor all the way in so everything goes straight. It's kind of a three-handed operation here. If you don't have someone to hold it, you can put one of the lug nuts on with a washer. And that'll hold it. You just want to make sure you get that nice and straight. If you don't get it perfectly straight, you might cross-thread the, the bolt. Those two. Calipers back in, we're putting the 21s back in. And 
then you're going to want to put your axle nut on there. Torque it to 185 foot-pounds. You might have to have someone in the vehicle holding the brake in order to get leverage on that. You don't want to let people know you're out. Uh, no, you got what? Yeah, do what? So that's it. We're done with that. If ever you take your brakes off, it's a good idea. Once you start it up, pump them a couple times in case the pads have spread open. So that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.